Hello everyone! Today I want to talk a bit about the first episode of Flip Flappers. To be honest, for most of the time I didn't even know what I was watching. Seriously. It was kinda random, things were happening, just for the sake of happening. No deep reason for what I could see so far and yet it was surprisingly entertaining. Especially Kokona who was like the expressionless or cool girl and Papika on the other hand who was kinda... how can I say it without being extremely rude or evil. It looks like she didn't even know what was going on around her. Even most of the parts, or well, for most of the time, she was asking about things that normal people would know. For example, what is sweet? And with sweet it was the taste of sweetness, not sweet in terms of cute. And it was really strange. I watched it and it's really hard to put into words what I was watching. It's really really hard for me. I don't know why. But let me say things first. The visuals, the character design and the quality of the animations, it was top. It was really really nice, fluid animations and looks just amazing. And the character design of the show itself, it's not your everyday show but it looked really well and I really like the character design. And for the story it starts with Papika flying around through the night on her surfboard. Which was interesting. I don't know why she was going out. It looks like they tried to stop her. Ah, something like this. I don't even know. And Kokon on the other hand was on her way to school, not really sure what to do with her future. Which is completely normal. It's absolutely fine if you're in that age group and you don't even know what you want to do in the future. No reason to worry about it. And Papika was also flying over Kokona who was on her way to school. And from the reaction, I think people couldn't see Papika, but Kokona could. I don't know why. I think we will get to it in the future. I hope so. And also what was this pure illusion, this alternate world or dimension? Or was it just a dreamlike state? Or even a virtual reality, which would be really, really boring. But it was strange. And things were happening, just like I've said in the beginning, just for the sake of this was happening. And Papika was beaten up by some strange creatures while she was trying to get back Kokona's glasses. And then Kokona was going, let's call it Super Saiyan, just for the sake of people getting to what I want to say. And she was saving her. But for the entire time of this pure illusion theme, I don't know what was going on. Seriously, they were there. Papika said that they could find something. And yes, so it was really strange. And 
it's really the best if you try to watch the first episode, which was really entertaining, and which was, which ended with a, let's call it cliffhanger, because robots were going and captured Kokona. And Papika, so was it because they found something, like this crystal thing that gave Kokona the power to transform? Or was it the guy from the beginning who said something like, let's test them? I don't know. I'm really, really curious and I want to know what is going on in the future. I don't know if I will get answers for my questions or if they will just increase the amount of questions the normal viewer will have. So, yes. Is there everything else? The music was fine, the animation, character design, like I've already said. Yeah, and that was it probably for the first episode. And so I will going to watch the subbed version of Girlish Number now by Wataru Watari and I will make videos and tell you about my thoughts. So see ya later. Adios.